Hello and welcome back to 10 Years Later in Louisville. Today, we are doing an awful lot of skill grinding and base maintenance. Uh, I want to finish up the walls. I want to get all of the walls up to level 3, including the doorways. I would also love to have some fencing around the roof. I don't know if I consider that a high priority, uh, but I would like to finish off plastering uh, the interior and such. So I'm going to, uh, I spent, I spent some time here chopping down a whole bunch of trees. Uh, I've, I filled the trailer and now I'm going to haul these, uh, logs in here and start sawing them up. Uh, we still have, um, four boxes of nails, five boxes of nails, something like that. It's, it's, we're, we're good on nails. I fear that we're going to run out of plaster before we can finish though. In the previous episode, or maybe it was the one before that, I tried to fix up some of the walls here. I cannot. Project Zomboid's got that thing where you can't touch certain walls uh, unless you're on the outside of the building. So uh, that's what I'm doing here. I'm, I'm building a small little path that goes around. I don't want to connect it to the, um, to the, what would we call that? It's not a beach but where the uh, river ends here, where our door is, because zombies could come in that way. Um, they could be chilling on the back, which not a big deal. There's the chances of zombies here, because we we're not playing with respawns on. Chances of zombies are it's just so, 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 so little. But I really need to finish up these these walls. These are high priority. I hate the way they look. I just want, I just want everything to look better. We're going to live in a little bit of style. Drop some fencing here. Um, I'm not sure if I'll do the roof yet. Maybe. This just seems so silly here because I do spend a lot of time uh, here specifically fishing and uh, washing clothes. Uh, well, now that we've got the washer and dryer, it's not a huge deal, but we still need to wash ourselves. Um, that would be another thing we need. We need to go get a shower of some kind. We also don't, we also don't got a toilet, which is a little weird. I mean, I guess there's a just kind of hang your butt out over the, uh, <laughs> out over the river. Um, Let's see what's going on. This is another one of those issues I'm having here with Project Zomboid is a little bit strange about being on the correct side. It's going to make me, it's making me walk all the way around the building, all the way to the outside to plaster that section of wall on the inside. Uh, it's, it's, it's bizarre. Um, but uh, we can we can get this, um, and I will not subject you to this pain. Just just know that I am here suffering, trying to plaster these walls, and that the game hates me, and that Indie Stone hates me, and God hates me, and for some reason, I don't want to. He doesn't want to plaster this stuff. Though I will say, plastering in the game is a whole lot easier than plastering in real life. Okay, just about done. Um, I plastered quite a bit and I am fixing up the kitchen area now, uh, with our, oh, what's the issue here? Oh, now it's green. Okay. So yeah, uh, Zomboid's a little bit weird on some of this stuff. I just, the building system, it, it's cool and all, but man, it, it's fussy. It's a fussy, fussy system. Really likes to complain, um, just about through all of our logs to you. Basically, I'm just sawing what I need. I'm just leaving the rest in there. Uh, it would be easier, and I could hold more if I sheet roped them all together in stacks of four. Um, sheet rope is relatively heavy, and I just don't feel like going and doing it at the moment. I don't think... Because I'm as close to the trees as I am, it's not such a huge deal, and... If I was on, if I was on, say, our multiplayer server, I would definitely be using sheet rope because uh, the big difference between there and here, um, I can't speed up time. But here, I can speed up time. So it's really not that big of a deal to just pick up the logs and you know cut them down. I mean, the whole. I mean, it seems like it's taking me a while, but you know, I, I want to say this whole process was only like 30, 40 minutes, maybe tops. It wasn't that. Oh, now this is some impressive building. Check this out. You ever build a fence from the second story? Mm. Mm. I should I should have filled that in a long time ago. I've been walking around there just asking for trouble. 
just asking for trouble. As it rained in mm, a while, I went and grabbed some stuff to build us uh, rain collectors. Now this one off on the side here, this is for the washer. This washer is a washer dryer combo. If you don't know, when you see these blue boys here, uh, it does both. Uh, so when you're in the uh, context menu for the washer dryer, you can actually tell it to swap to dryer mode or to washer mode, depending on what you want to do. Um, but now this is all plumbed up and ready to go. So we can use it as soon as we get some water. I may have a bug in my game. I have tried plastering these uh, posts, these wall posts, pillars, excuse me, these uh, pillars here, um, three, four times. I thought maybe it would go at one point, but it never went. Uh, it, the action acts like it wants to go. I'm going to have to move this washer. Oh, that's a bummer. Oh, well. But yeah, there's these two here, and I tried plastering it, um, and I think I wasted a bunch of plaster because I noticed... Well, I tried it three or four times. It wasn't going off. I just assumed it wasn't working, and maybe I moved or something. You know, Maybe it was er user error. Uh, it was not. It's just straight not working. Um, and it was, in fact, using plaster. I used a, a good amount of plaster on that each each time I tried it. So that's kind of annoying. And I don't think there's any plaster left in the uh, mall. So um, because it takes all day, uh, we're going to read some books here. And then when we're finished reading uh, this firing book, what I'll probably do is catch some fish maybe. And we will cook those so that we can level up cooking. And then I have a new book to read. Uh, and we'll just try to keep doing that. I'll just, and then maybe I'll spend some time fishing, fill up the freezer. I don't need the fish because we're still trying to lose weight. I do, I do not need the fish. We don't need to put on any weight. Uh, yeah. So I'm just going to kill time here. This, this is going to be a lot of jumping around in this video because we're going to be speeding through some days. Next day. Forgot to set this mortar grinder out. Mm, forgot I even had it, if I'm being honest. That's a bummer. We'll set it outside. Place is under construction and make, make it look nice. I'm on my way to the laundromat. Not to do laundry. I'm there to destroy stuff. Metalworking, leveling metalworking on a higher XP. Ooh, gosh. On a higher XP value is very, very, very simple. Uh, if you've read the book and you're playing on a higher higher than one XP and you go to these places with tons of metal, man, it just it's just skyrockets. So I'm going to go here, spend, oh gosh, not much time, honestly, doing this. I wonder if I can fit that pinball machine in the in the Jeep. But yeah, this is this is basically it. There's a point. I'm just walking around here. Um, we'll get a little bit parts. We're not going to get much because I'm still, I want to see where this is only putting us at level three. Um, the reason I'm leveling metalworking, uh, if you're, if you're curious, is because I run a mod that overhauls the vehicle repair system and you can repair it via a bunch of metal parts better than base game stuff. So higher your metalworking and mechanic skill. Easier it is to read in there. See, this is what I was talking about. On a higher XP value, you just level up metalworking so easy. Uh, but this is we, what we need to uh, fix our vehicles. So we got to go do this. I'm gonna pick up. I'm gonna pick up all this stuff here. Uh, yes, uh, not unusable metal, but metal metal sheets and scrap metal specifically. Load that all up and head back. Got this guy. It's nice, huh? Check it out. This is cool. It's fully animated. Um, this will be something we're fixing up. I feel the urge to use this as our main vehicle. I'm going to put armor on the windows and windshields and stuff, and uh, this will be the beast. The new beast. And um, I'm going to level mechanics uh, a little bit here. So I'll cut all this out. Uh, we're, I'm just going to spam through some of these vehicles. I don't have the mod that auto does it, but I'm just going to I'm just going to jump through this process. I don't know if I mentioned this on camera, but uh, I stuck all of our mechanic gear in a bag. Uh, I've just kept it in there. Make, it makes it real easy. I don't have to keep it in anything. Passing time again. Uh, we're just flying through the, the hours here, potentially the days, except we're on a little bit longer day span here. So 
I did get my mechanics points and metalworking um, and cooking too, I think. So we've got three books that we can read. So that's three days I think it takes and to read these books because I don't have the increased reading speed uh, or the, the skill point. Skill point? Talent point. What are those called? Traits? Traits. I think that's it. New day. I'm not going to skill grind. Maybe I will later. I'm tired of cutting trees and reading books and busting with cars and stuff. Um, just keep an eye on this generators. Uh, I don't have to worry about the condition of this pole behind generator. It doesn't break, but the fuel level will drop. I do have fuel, so we gotta be, or I do have fuel, but what I meant to say is I do have food in a freezer. So we do need to sort of keep an eye on it. Uh, I am going to go and start killing. Now, I know the map up here already from my previous games. So in the hotel is a, uh, this hotel has themed rooms uh, like retro and future and Western and old, um, or maybe it's just Western. Uh, and one of those rooms has an antique oven in it. So I'm just going to go there. I'm going to start clearing it out. Plus, it gives me an excuse to clear that building. Uh, and I just feel like killing stuff. I've just, just spent so much time not killing. And I'm playing a Zomboid and I'm not killing. And it just doesn't sit right with me. I need to cleanse, cleanse Louisville of these zombies. And the only way I'm going to do that is by actually killing stuff instead of putting my nose in a book. All right, here we are. So this is a hotel building. I'm going to go in through the parking garage because that's on this side. Uh, there's like this big old, like the first floor is shared with like the lobby, a library, a restaurant, and a bar, and then the parking garage. Ooh, that's a lot of banging. Okay, so there's quite a few zombies in this building. Even though we are a normal population, there'll still be quite a few zombies in here, so this will be fun. Uh, the other fun part, too, is because I've got this great big beaming flashlight uh, i don't need to worry about hooking up a generator to light up this building so yeah that's great come to me zombies come to me i am still running three spears uh, i am using one in my hand you can see the durability it's very small i can't increase the size it just broke uh, my equipped weapons durability will always be on the top left corner of the screen and then the uh, uh, equipped on my back will be on the bottom of my screen, number slot number one. Um, I am equipping one, attaching one to my back, and then I have the spare. Because uh, sometimes uh, the roll of the dice is just bad, and we'll just uh, break our spears uh, real fast, like, and not be able to uh, use two. I, I had a couple situations, two times I think it was, where two spears just wasn't enough in the mall. So I have since upgraded our strategy and we now use three. Um, I am exclusively using uh, leather strips at this point though, because uh, I get some of them back. So I've, I think I've dumped all of our duct tape, but a couple because uh, I can still use duct tape and I am losing some of the leather strips each time I do this. It doesn't seem like I get them all back, but that's okay. That's all right. Um, yeah, check this out. This is so nice. Just light everything up. Zombies. I need my gas mask because there's going to be a lot of corpses in here. Might start shouting in here. This is cool, though. Uh, some of the some of the most fun in ten years later is is clearing these buildings that are overrun with uh, both zombies and foliage. Definitely gives you that uh, Last of Us feel, uh, even without the specialty zombies. But you still get that. Oh, our weapon bro. You still get that feel, even without the like specialty zombies, which is fine. I actually prefer. In zombie lore, I prefer the uh, slower Walking Dead zombies. I think I've talked on this before. Uh, or perhaps Rage zombies from like 28 Days Later. Um, the, the ones from 
like Last of Us and Resident Evil. They're cool in video games that exclusively deal with that, but putting that type of that type and style of zombie in like Zomboid, it's I don't know. It's strange. Because the way the game is and the way the game's designed is sort of like rogue-like style where a single scratch is game over, yada yada yada, you can't take any damage. Um, it's just too it's too simple to die to these, you know super fast zombies now if we were in a first person game um i would argue that it would be way way easier because usually those games you play in either first or third person not this sort of top down kind of janky janky uh mechanics because zomboid is a little bit lacking on the on the mechanics, it's a little bit janky. A little bit janky. I mean, I think we can all agree with that. But um, if we were like in a like Seven Days to Die, State of Decay style, you know, first person, um, then the one hit faster zombies um, would be a little bit easier and a little bit more logical to deal with. But even then, in games like Resident Evil and uh, Last of Us, you can still take hits from those zombies. You don't die immediately. Uh, because if you did die immediately, no one no one would play those games. Uh, which, uh, I, I, you know, I'm curious what they're going to do for the first aid overhaul. Because uh, that sort of leans into the first aid stuff. Or right now, first aid is kind of pointless. Because if you get scratched or bit, you're dead anyway. So, like, leveling, it's pointless. But I feel like they said they're gonna overhaul it. And I'm, I'm curious what that's gonna what that's gonna be like, you know? Die! Get out! Get out! Get out of here, zombies! I'm going to retreat briefly to the Jeep uh, and sit inside the Jeep while I rest up my stamina bar, my endurance bar, and fix my weapons. Uh, because if a zombie sneaks up on me, they're just going to bang on the window rather than kill me instantly. Uh, so, and then we're going to we're gonna push in a little bit further. Come to me, zombies. Come to me. Uh, yeah. You would think I, I would love a uh, someone commented recently that there should be like a sound overhaul. And I think that would be cool. More realistic sounds. Uh, <laughs> I realize we're asking a lot of uh, indie indie stone, the little indie developer. But when I walk in here and shout, I almost wonder if the zombie should even be able to locate you. Because first, wouldn't it just echo and bounce around in here? Wouldn't it just agitate the zombies? They should sort of all shuffle around and look at me. Look at each other. Um, but boy, it would be cool to hear the echoing and growling coming from the hallways and stuff, wouldn't it? I just love clearing these buildings. This is so much fun. Look at them come. Got them behind us. Got them in front of us. I missed. No one saw that. Die. I have been looting uh, one-handed blades and stuff to attach to us bees. I've got quite a few. I've got quite the stock. Uh, I still have been taking a lot, though, because uh, I just kind of feel like maybe we'll run into a dry spell. This game is not running a zombie loot overhaul, I don't believe. I have like three or four different zombie loot mods where it changes the uh, loot pool of the zombies to hold more stuff like the whole guns or bags of chips or yada yada yada. Um, those are cool because I do feel like the zombie loot is lame and uh, 
non-existent. I understand why it is the way it is, but I'm just going to eat these bonbons while these zombies come here. But the, um, the zombie loot pools, they can be a bit much. I mean, like, you can kill a group of zombies and get, like, four bags of chips and, like, a gun. Which is a little wild. Hello. Hello. Nice piano there. Oh, yeah. He's like, whoa. Oh, they're all standing up. They're like, oh, man, someone's in here. There's some food. I came in here and rang the dinger, dinner bell. Look at him. Look at him. So there's the uh, library to the left, bar to the left, and restaurant to the right. And then uh, above us is the themed hotel rooms. And directly behind the piano is, I believe, supposed to be an elevator shaft. Um, even though we don't have elevators in the game. I believe that's supposed to be an elevator shaft. Glass. This is supposed to be a nice kind of ritzy, ritzy hotel. This is cool. This is cool fighting in here. Look at this. Blood everywhere. Got the overgrown vines and stuff. Nice. Dev Skull, you was asking... Oop, oop, oop. He was asking uh, why... Why there is these sort of delayed kills in some of these zombies. Uh, spears. These spear weapons have got multiple execute animations and the zombie doesn't appear dead like they're dead standing and then they have this like flop over and bleed out animation so sometimes when i'm fighting these groups of zombies i'll get the one hit kill back to back to back and there'll be like three zombies and i'll be fighting a fourth zombie while the three are sort of falling over and dying which sort of gives that impression um if I remember, I'll point it out when I see it, but uh, that's that's what's happening here. Actually, that was one right there. There's a kill sound. Uh, there's always a kill sound uh, when it happens, an execute sound. The same sound you hear when I kill a zombie, that is the sound, the kill sound, uh, when they, yeah, like that one there. See, it just happened three times in a row there. And that one. Hopefully that clears that up a little bit. This is great. Look at this. There's blood everywhere. My gar my character should just like fall over or something. Then again, I'm not sure if these zombies should be... I should just disable blood. Shouldn't I? Why should there be blood all over the walls? Why should we paint the walls with blood when... Uh, the well, This is supposed to be 10 years later. And the zombies are 10 years later. They shouldn't be bleeding out like this, right? Shouldn't this be like... They should just be like the uh, old, uh, well, new season Walking Dead zombies, which is just kind of like skeletal. Being uh, being maintained via magic. Okay, I pulled uh, a few too many. Uh, I may sprint back to the Jeep here. Um, and what this will do is it'll block line of sight on the main horde that sort of followed me into that hall. Um, and then I'll get a chance to fix my weapons. And yeah, all right, so here we go. Uh, and I can get... Oh, I felt like I had to sneeze. I can get some of my stamina back. Um, before we go back in there. Get out of the way. Okay. All rested up. Fixed up. Here we are. We're going on inside. I feel like there's going to be quite a few zombies in here. Yeah, look, there's like six of them trying to eat that one, that one boy over there. That is the restaurant, though. Makes sense. They're chowing down on that guy. There's quite a few zombies. We need to. We're gonna need to back up just a smidge. Uh, yeah, I'm not necessarily. So uh, the reason I'm backing up, um, I'm not afraid of these zombies in front of us as much as I'm afraid of these zombies falling from. I because you have to understand this is an open center, and there's a hotel 
uh, rooms on the second floor, and they all overlook this center area. So, um, if there's groups of them up there, they kind of come down the stairs, which will be behind me, or they'll fall off the staircase, which is also ooh, beta blockers. I think those are the first beta blockers we found. I'll take some of those and fight a little bit more. Okay, I spent another, like, ten minutes in the building. Before I realized that I had the queasy moodle, um... Anyone who plays a zomboid, the queasy moodle is uh, dangerous. <laughs> uh, don't trust that bad boy. That generally means bad things. Now, um, if you're fighting indoors around a lot of zombies, you could simply say that that is uh, corpse sickness. Now, I am running a mod that fixes mask and mask corpse sickness, but I think maybe. My, um, I think I have a mod conflict. I think it's conflicting with the attachable, the bag attachable from uh, backpacks from Authentic Z because uh, I had it attached and equipped while wearing it, and that may have fussed with it. Uh, my, I'm also a little bit worried because my temperature is kind of high. So um, a little bit worried about fever and queasy. Now the queasy went away, so we're outside and that's fine. Uh, I'm just going to call it here for fighting. I'm going to head back to base with the AC on um, and see if anything is wrong. Because I did get... Was that lacerated? If you remember a couple episodes back? No, that was several days ago. So if I... Now I got the queasy middle back again. But if I did get sick from that, that should have been... It should have happened already. But I have I have sickness uh, infection from uh, lacerations and scratches and stuff. That's all off. Or it should be off. Unless there's something wrong. Which would be annoying. And I would have to fix it. But it's fixable. If that is the case. We'll see. Uh, either way, I'm going to go back to base because I think I can fix this. Or rather, I can uh, uh, troubleshoot it in base easier than while I'm out fighting. Because I'm going to wait for the temperature to go down and see if the queasy mood goes away while we're just like grinding skills or something. Which will be much easier than while we're in the hallways going room to room clearing that building. But I think that building's just about cleared, by the way. But I think um, I am going to end the episode here. Um, hey, thanks for watching. Uh, really appreciate it. Hope the uh, skill grinding is uh, not too bad. Um, I'm cutting most of it out. Uh, this was like, this was like almost three hours of footage here. All this cutting down trees and stuff, and reading books and all this stuff I've been cutting out. It's wild the amount of time I'm wasting on skills. Oh gosh, almost crashed. Uh, but hey. Thanks for hanging out. Really appreciate it. Come join us on our multiplayer server. Join us on Discord. Got a lot of really cool people hanging out with us. And uh, I'll see you in the next episode.